to the new episode of github copilot in the previous uh, episode we have discussed about the new chat feature of copilot today let us take the chat feature for a new project creation we are going to develop all together a new project or a new product development how copilot chat can enable us to quickly generate or develop a new project so i am moving to visual studio code where chat is already created here let us start with a machine learning project so i am going to create a notebook for sentiment analysis of seven statements either you can specify analysis of statements right from a csv file right now i need only hard coded seven statements now add the score into a column so that i can use that for float a chart using the score so this is what i needed so i am passing this requirement to copilot now copilot understand that i need a jupyter notebook with uh, these five statements steps uh, importing the libraries load the data perform an sentiment analysis and calculate the score and float it so these are the statement they specified i'm going ahead and creating the notebook so the copilot start giving me the entire notebook development here the score pie chart and everything is done so let us see how it is done so the first area looks fine so i am going ahead and importing it here there is an error so let me just remove this one there are seven statements i just executed that as well so you can see all seven statements got added here now the next one is the sentiment analysis it's done some scores also calculated now i'm adding this score to a column that is done now going ahead and floating a chart so as you can observe that it's floated a column chart or bar chart kind of thing all these statements are the code provided by the github copilot is executed successfully as a developer you may able to ask for the questions uh, for example i need to float a line graph instead of a bar graph i can ask uh, copilot float a line chart using the sentiment scores for each statement so this is what i needed so it's a uh, setting the lines graph requirements x by and the title and show let us see whether it's able to do it so the bar chart exists as it is and you can see there is a line chart is also drawn it's properly drawn with the provided data so even if you are not a ml developer or you don't know actually what kind of uh, data processing is done here if you have an external data available you want to run some sentiment analysis or take the score and float into a library or understand what's a di discrepancy in the data provided by someone else you can quickly generate a notebook and drive it with a proper data path and everything so this is how you create a new notebook with the support of copilot chat now let us go ahead and see how we can take the help of copilot chat for generating a java application all together so i am going to create a workspace java application for employee management so i need an employee management at employee with email validation for email and phone number at calculate payroll method so the, let me add a utility method for sending 
notifications so these all are my requirements even you can explain the fields of employee what kind of payroll fields you need to get all such details you can provide it so that the copilot gives the almost complete code in the initial iteration itself now based on my requirement copilot start providing me the details it came up with the java application structure now and it's still executing and uh, this is the structure if i am happy with the structure i can ask copilot to create the workspace so let us uh, start create workspace and give some location so it's uh, going ahead and creating the workspace meantime look at the structure it's came up with them the java application normal structure may src main then the java.com dot example with uh, all the codes and the resources and there is a external resource file it's used to log for j2 right now for it may be for used to for the logging aspects and the test cases are also added here and it's uh, going to create the entire stack all the files structure and everything with the basic data matching my requirements so let me load the application the application got loaded here let us see how the data is generated so this is employee tape one management is the class which contain all employee and uh, add employee calculate payroll send notification is valid email phone number all these uh, methods which we have asked is added already as part of the uh, employee management class and if you go to the test you will see the corresponding test cases against each of the uh, methods it's added the test cases you can get started from here if you feel some more elements are required for example all this method i need to add some exception handling so i am asking add exception handling to all methods so the entire class it's going to add the exception handling wherever it's required so you can observe there is a try catch is included here and frixa here also there is a throw new exception it's introduced this two are there initially itself but from calculate payroll onwards it's added wherever applicable it's added the exception handling or i need a blank or blindly add try catch to all the ones add try catch blocks to all methods that is what i needed so now it's add general so the initial one is it's uh, trying to give the um, exception handling wherever it's required with the proper validation and throwing the exceptions uh, only specific areas it's a uh, handle the exception and throw it but if you want uh, the try catch everywhere so it's added the try catch block it's not necessary here because we already have the exception handling here but in case sometimes we may need such things you can go ahead and add it or i can ask uh, at try catch blocks to lock the exception using a logger so it went to a logger level now you can see there is an import itself started you have an import of logger and the loggers are defined in a high level and as part of each of the cache there is a log statement added so everywhere it's a log the properly so if you feel that is what you needed you just uh, select this one add the code piece here so that the complete modification is done and as uh, we discussed in the previous uh, episode you can apply security performance tuning generate new code for new areas and go ahead and explore further thank you